Well, I know this is not how I usually start a vlog, but I'm currently standing at one of the oldest, I believe the second oldest roller coaster in America and by far the most famous roller coaster of all time. The Coney Island Cyclone, as you can see, the New York subway and things behind me. So cannot wait to get on this. Real quick before I get on, I just wanna shout out the crew. They let me sit on the train to see if I would fit before I bought my ticket. That's really, really good customer service and I appreciate that. Got a dispatch of the group in front of me here. It's actually an incredibly fast lift for a 95 year old roller coaster. This thing is moving up there. Let's take a ride. As you can see, there's a big system of handbrakes that they use. It's actually really cool, old school. Well, I just rode a piece of history. And while I will tell you there's not much airtime on that, you know what there is? A crazy amount of laterals. Honestly, the most laterals I've ever gone on a coaster to the point with those buzz bars, you completely slide across your chair. That was crazy. Well, I'm gonna do it again and I really hope I don't regret this because I'm honestly a little bit dizzy just how many laterals this thing has. But we're gonna try it in the back this time. So after doing that a second time in the back, I just wanna say in the back, there's not as many laterals, but a little bit more airtime and i also want to say that that is the roughest coaster i've ever done an amazing coaster an amazing piece of history but yeah that thing was rough let's see what else we can ride here at luna park also i just want to take a moment to reflect because one of my favorite youtubers theme park worldwide this is where he ended his major usa road trip standing right here so just awesome to be here So I just quickly want to showcase that this park is located right here on the beach at Coney Island. See the cyclone there and some more rides down here. So yeah, let's see what all we can do. And honestly, I'm a little dizzy. So it's going to be a mixture of what we can do and what would be smart to do so I don't get sick. So real quickly before I do our next ride, I really want to thank the crew at the Coney Island Cyclone. They helped me get to a seat that fit a lot better. and. As of, as of right now, that is the very back seat. That had the most space for me, but yeah, really appreciate that crew. So unfortunately for me, this is a ride model I've never done, but I want to try. And just from watching Theme Park Worldwide and a lot of other YouTubers, I know that this probably isn't going to be great, but let's check out Steeplechase before that. Sorry for children screaming swear words behind me. Yeah, let's check this right out. So that far exceeded my expectations. That was sick. Honestly, I'm gonna get some more nerd shots as you see the catch car there. Cause this launch system is actually really, really cool to me, but that was really, really fun. This turn right after the launch, is kind of intense. There are some rough moments on the coaster. I wouldn't say rough, I would just say a little shaky, but that far exceeded my expectations. Had a great time on that. And yeah, I'm gonna get some nerd shots of this launch system. So you know I love the engineering behind rides. As you can see, that's a flywheel and then on a snap. You can see the axle is engaged to that wheel that's already spinning and creates a really half decent launch. very very cool and honestly ancient launch type so you see that wheel that wheel is always spinning and then you're gonna see it switch so that wheel in the back that's not currently spinning in just a second and the power from the wheel that was already spinning gets transferred to the launch track creating that launch honestly extremely cool so yeah, I know this is just a really, really good family coaster, but with a really good launch and a launch that was really, really fascinating me. Really glad I got to do this. So let's pivot and head to one of the rides that I'm not looking forward to doing. It actually starts with a pretty cool lift tail.
coaster site this is, this lift hill is actually extremely cool. It doesn't use a chain. Oh, that looks aggressive. So full transparency here, I was actually too big for this ride and you know what, I'm going to consider that a blessing because now I don't have to go through what I've heard is the worst model ever made. Alright, so we were saved from the sky warp, but are we going to be saved from what I heard is actually the worst ride of this park and just feels like a shopping cart going down a hill. So let's see what happens with this ride. You know what Zamperla, I am not disappointed. You know, I guess it goes to show when you go in things with really low expectations, you can really be wowed. And while yes, this train definitely jolted around in some moments, I actually prefer the restraint, or I don't have a problem with them. They're almost like the intimate lap bars. Great drop, some great hang time in some of these inversions, and some really good air time at the end. Now you do jolt through some of the parts of this coaster, but overall, I quite enjoyed this. And I wonder if I would have enjoyed the uh, Volare, but who knows? And I will take the fact that I got to do this ride instead of that one. I enjoyed that.
So just to recap, we had two amazing rides on the Cyclone, one on Steeplechase, and then one over here on Thunderbolt. And honestly, I enjoyed all three rides. Cyclone, definitely the roughest. Honestly, Thunderbolt and Steeplechase really, really surprised me. So now I think we're gonna take a walk on the beach. So I'm afraid to see how cold this water is. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, that is not cool. Ooh, that's really refreshing. Well guys, I think that is just about going to do it from a park that I'm honestly really sad to leave. This is my first beachfront park since Family Kingdom in South Carolina. And while I might like Swamp Fox more than Coney Island Cyclone, this park is something really special. And I really hope to get back here one day, but wow, I really enjoyed my time here a lot more than I thought I would. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I read every single comment I get. And yeah, I think we're going to American Dream tomorrow, so stay tuned for a vlog about that.